Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Safari VIB sale haul. So I did pick up some new goodies and I also picked up some repurchases. So I'll be showing you exactly what I repurchased and why I repurchased it. And you can see that I absolutely love and adore it. And I can't live without them because I have talked about them before in past videos. And I will also be showing you all the new goodies as well. So if you do want to see what I picked up in the sale, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I did go to the store and they gave me this bag. Um, it's a cute little bag. I never really pick these bags up usually like I order online but I had to go to the store because some of the products that I did want in the sale were actually sold out online so I went into the store because they had them so I actually got one of the bags. So let's start out with what I repurchased and they are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. Now this stuff is absolutely amazing. I did tell you guys in my recommendation video that I absolutely love and adore these. They are so soft. They are just super soft. They're like a soft little cloud it does a really nice job taking makeup off or if I use it for my skincare like my toner or something like that it just gets enough product on there for your whole face and it won't leave any cotton behind at all which is absolutely amazing because I hate that I hate when I do my skincare and there's like cotton somewhere on my face you know what I mean um, and they're just really really soft so you're not gonna get like that tugging or pulling that you might with other cotton pads this one is just super soft I absolutely love it I don't ever feel like I'm scratching my face with these and they do last a really long time now this one is the bigger pack they do have a smaller pack but my Safari doesn't carry the bigger pack so I did order these online I just love these I will always always repurchase them and the next product that I repurchased was the power couple by Sunday Riley now this has the good jeans in it and it has the Luna oil in it um, I am not out of my Luna oil as of right now and I do have the smaller size of this but I don't use it every single day so that's another reason why I don't run out of it as fast as I run out of the good jeans. The good jeans I use twice a day sometimes once a day just depending on my skin or my skincare routine for that day but for the most part um, the Luna oil is like every other day every two days depending again on my skin situation. So that's what the Luna oil looks like and it is in a blue bottle with a dropper. So I absolutely love this retinol. It does have a blue tint to it and that is the blue tansy in it. So that actually helps calm and soothe the skin so your skin is not getting irritated by the retinol because a lot of retinols can irritate skin especially if you're not used to it, if you're a beginner in retinol or if you just have really sensitive skin. So the blue tint in here is actually really good. It's calming, it's soothing for your skin. And it's actually helping your skin and the retinol work actually a lot better. So I do really love this stuff. So I love purchasing this kit because you get both the good jeans and the Luna oil. So this is what the good jeans looks like. This is actually the empty one. The good jeans that I'm using right now that came in this kit is in my bathroom. So I figured I'll just show you the empty one. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice size. This lasts me a few months and I use it, like I said, like twice a day. Sometimes I do use it once a day, but most of the time it's twice a day. And I just absolutely love it. So if I run out of this and I go a few days without using it I definitely see a huge difference in my skin in my texture and my pores in fine lines so I definitely don't want to be without it so this stuff definitely works I absolutely love and adore it and I know so many other people that do too the only thing is it's not permanent so it's like a temporary fix but hey I will take whatever I can get so I absolutely love this this kit is amazing and that's why I purchased it personally so the next product I'm going to show you guys is not a repurchase because I've never purchased it before but I had had a sample of it. I absolutely loved and adored it, so I had to purchase it. And what I'm talking about is the Replica Beach Walk. Now, this perfume is so amazing, guys. Let me take it out. This one is the Rollerball. They don't have the spray in this size, which I wish they did, but that's what it looks like. So it is a Rollerball, which I'm not fond of Rollerballs because I just feel like you can't get as much product out of it. So that's what it looks like. It has a little Rollerball at the end, and you just apply it where you want it. So it smells really good. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it smells like the beach, but it doesn't smell like the Bobbi Brown beach. I don't know if you guys have smelled that before, but I would put the Bobbi Brown beach and the Tom Ford Soleil something, the one that smells like coconut, and this one all in the same category because they are all more summertime 
beachy kind of scents, but this one is more of like the sun-kissed beach smell, if that makes any sense. It's very hard for me to tell you what scents smell like because it does smell a little differently for everybody, but for me, that's exactly what this smells like. It's just a really beautiful scent. I would say the Tom Ford one smells more of like a tropical island milky coconut scent, like you have a pina colada in hand, you're on the beach. That's what that one smells like, and I would also say the Bobbi Brown, the beach smells exactly like the beach, like when you're walking on the beach and you have that gust of wind and it smells exactly like the sandy beach that's exactly what that smells like so they are very similar because they do have like the beachy summertime scents going on but they are a little bit differently also but I absolutely love this stuff it does last a little while it doesn't last super long so I do have to reapply this throughout the day I would say once I would say it lasts me about five hours after five hours I don't really smell it on myself anymore and I have to reapply it so that's not too bad because it is a light summertime scent. So I definitely wanted that because it's a light summertime scent, but I just absolutely love how it smells. It just smells really good, and I don't mind reapplying it if it smells this good. So, uh, yeah. I had to get this. So I did get this Shiseido eyelash curler. I did use this already. Um, this is so nice, guys. I gotta say. So that's what it looks like. And it's just a really nice eyelash curler. So I was looking at two eyelash curlers. I was looking at this one and the Surratt one. And I was doing a lot of research on it. And I didn't know which one I wanted to get. But my friend here on YouTube, Shannon, she actually got this one and said she loves and adores it. So I was like, okay, let me get it. So that's exactly what I did. And honestly... It's so good, guys. I was using the dollar store ones or the ones you get at the drugstore, thinking they're the same exact thing, and honestly, they are not even close. And this, this is so much better than the one I was using. The one I was using when I would do my lashes would actually make them stand up straight, like not even curl them correctly, just make them stand up straight. Versus this one where when I was applying pressure on it, they were just really nicely curled. And honestly, I have very small stubby lashes and this still worked for me. And it was really nice because the way it's shaped for some reason doesn't pinch my eyes versus the other one I was using sometimes if I wasn't careful enough, it would pinch my eyes. I think it's the way it's shaped. It's just like big enough that you could actually get it in there and curl it really nicely. I actually looked like I had some lashes going on. So I absolutely love this. Um, it's definitely worth the money. So I did get this Stellar and this is metal glitter. So I wasn't going to pick these up because I heard that it has a lot of fallout, but honestly, I had to try them because when I swatched these in store, they were to die for. They were just amazing. So that's what it looks like. And I got Rose Gold Retro. So that's what that looks like. Do you see that? It's just absolutely stunning. And you can see the glitter in it. So I'm not going to say it's finely milled glitter because I can see big chunky glitter going on. But I feel like when I blend it out, it won't actually be like chunky glitter, you know. I don't know. It's just beautiful and it reflects light so nicely. I don't know. I just absolutely love it. I'm going to use this and see how it goes. Maybe I'll use it in like a tutorial or something like that. But I was thinking just to put this over like my eyes, maybe in the middle of my eyes, just to give it a little more flair to a look. It's just really gorgeous. So I did pick this new lip balm by YSL up. It's called, what is this? Tint in Balm. So I swatched a bunch of them in the store and this one was sold out online. So I was actually happy they had it in store, but they only had like two more. It smells really good. It smells like melon. Like almost watermelon. Maybe just like a regular melon, but it smells really good. It's not strong. You actually have to really smell it. So that's what it looks like. It's just a really pretty shade. It also has a picture of lips in the middle, and that's the hydrating core. So this is actually just really nice. I haven't used it yet, but I did swatch it on my hand. It seems very hydrating, but it is definitely a bomb. So I would say it has a slight tint to it, but to get more of a tint instead of a sheer tint, you definitely have to keep going at it a little bit to build it up. I definitely think this will be nice in the summertime if you go to like the pool, the beach, or something like that. It's a really nice balm. If you want to treat yourself, this is really nice. And of course, it has the YSL over here, like all of their lipsticks do. And it just seems a little more elegant. You know, it's an elegant lip balm. So I did purchase the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero 
um, collab and this is absolutely gorgeous this is actually my first and only Anastasia palette like this it's just absolutely gorgeous there's all shades in here that I would actually wear this is absolutely stunning so I did use the glow getter today and that's what I have on honestly it's just gorgeous so everything here I could definitely see myself using that's also why I purchased this it wasn't one shade here that I think I won't use so this daydream right I don't know it's upside down so this daydream is more of like a peach this forever young is more of like a pinky silver and this kitty cat is a pink so you see that I hope so I'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's just really beautiful so that's with a heavy swatch. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really gorgeous. Um, and then over here, the 143 is more of like a silvery gold. This Glow Getter is more of a gold. And then this Forever Lit is, I don't know, this is like maybe, what do you call that? Like a dual chrome almost? Do you see that? It's just really gorgeous. So hopefully you can see that. But it's just really beautiful. But I think I will definitely use every single highlighter here. I could also use this for like the eyes, the inner corner of the eyes, the lips, you know, the cupid's bow or like the center of your face, anywhere on your face really that you want to put a little highlight. Also, I think you can use this for your body like over here or your decollete area if you wanted to basically shine so I did purchase that in store because it was sold out online and this is another one I bought in store because it was also sold out online and it's called gig by milk makeup now these are the pigments oh my goodness guys it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today it is so gorgeous so go very light with this don't have a heavy hand with it you need like the littlest bit trust me and I'm talking about the teeniest bit that's how much I used for my eye per eye um, I'm gonna blend it out so it is a really beautiful like bronzy golden color and honestly I just absolutely love this when they stay like when they set they set they don't move they don't budge they don't smudge they're there you know so this stuff is just absolutely amazing I love the way it looks I love how easy it is to apply I love how thin the formula is but it's still very workable you know so it's just really good okay so the next thing I got in store because again sold out online was this bite beauty and the kit is love bite lip set oh my goodness this is so beautiful and how cute is this for like Mother's Day look how beautiful so that's the box it's really nice and then when you open it like it's a tin box too so you could definitely save it and use it for something so that's what mine looks like I didn't even open this yet okay so this is what is this oh it's a mirror so it's a mirror on that side so that's really nice and then on this side it says bite and it has like little flowers so that's cute so this is exactly what you get in the bite beauty set and these are multi sticks so you could use these on like your cheeks your lips your eyes so this one is in cashew and this is just like a really beautiful I would say like mauvey brownie kind of color do you see? It's just really nice. This one is gelato, and this one looks really nice. This one kind of looks like purpley, mauve nude, I would say. Do you see? It looks really nice. And then this one is a lip gloss. Mmm. It has like a lemon, like a lemon tart scent. Ooh, I like it. And then this is rose pearl. This is just a really beautiful, like two, three dimensional kind of gloss do you see so I would say it has like pinky red mauvey um, gold in it do you see it's definitely different it shifts with the light do you see that it's just really beautiful um, I do have one of their other ones I forget what it's called but it's more like on the silvery side and I do really enjoy that I haven't used it in a really long time though so I have to start using that again I just remembered but this is just so nice do you see it's just really beautiful and it changes with the light okay so I'm just gonna try to do this fast because they're outside so the next thing I got was this Marc Jacobs and this is the bronzer this is the coconut bronzer and it smells like coconut it's absolutely amazing 
it smells so good so that's what it looks like and that's what I'm wearing today it's just a really pretty bronzer and you can build it up so I could use this when I'm super fair and then when I'm also self tanning I can use it as well it smells like coconut but it's very light so you have to really smell it like put your nose to it to smell anything but either way I'm just really happy that I picked this up because it's just really beautiful do you see that and it's huge so this is the last product I got and it's the Sephara favorites give me some nude lip and I love these kits so you get six lip products in here and that's what it looks like I don't want it to fall out but you see so you get a Tarte this one is the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy and I think I might have this already or something similar okay there it goes and then this is the Anastasia and this is I believe the lipstick and no it's a lip gloss and Christine don't have this one so it looks like a really pretty nude color then this is a NARS and this is in bound and I might have this already so I'm gonna check and if I do have it I'm gonna give this in a giveaway but those are just really nice because these are the velvet lips and I absolutely love those. They are just really nice on. They last and they do feel velvety on the lips. They're actually like really creamy, velvety, flexible on the lips. So I really enjoy those. Um, this one is a full size and this is the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick and I don't have any of them. This one is actually like really pretty. Let me show you guys. So this is in Trivial and this is just like a really pretty like mauve pink kind of color and it does look like it has some sheen in it. So that's what that looks like. It's just really gorgeous. I could definitely get away with that. I think a lot of people can. That's what I love about these kits too because they have shades in here that are very wearable like everyday daytime appropriate shades. And then this one I don't have and I'm really happy it was in this kit is the Marc Jacobs lip glosses and you guys know how I feel about them. I'm always talking about them. I'm always recommending them. I absolutely love and adore them. And this one I don't have and I always wanted to get it. And this one is in Sugar Sugar. So this is a nice little like nude gloss. It's just a really beautiful nude gloss. So that would be really nice with like a lip liner or by itself or even over other lipsticks. So I love these. So I'm really happy that they included this. And I believe this kit is $28. Yeah, $28. And you get all of this. So that is everything I got at the Sephora sale. I know I didn't get so much stuff. I'm actually really happy I didn't go overboard this time. And a lot of things that I thought I was going to purchase, I end up not purchasing as of yet. But they are on my wish list. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys got anything at the sale and what you guys got. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please come join our little YouTube family here. We would love to have you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.